Okay, as we look at the next graph, one of the things I do want you to remember, there are arrows here and there are arrows here indicating that the graph does continue in those directions. Okay. Um, this time though, we've switched directions. I'm not asking where it's increasing or decreasing. I want to know what the domain and the range is. Okay, now, remember the domain is the x value and to find the domain which is the x value your hand should be vertical and you should scan from left to right okay well when I scan remember these arrows not only tell me the graph goes up but they tell me the graph goes out so if I look at the graph in relation to the x-axis it's covering the entire x-axis so my domain would be from negative infinity to positive infinity. In other words, all real numbers. Okay? And the range. Range means you're scanning from uh, bottom to top. The y value is always range from bottom to the top. Okay? Well, the bottom y value here is 1. And this y value just continues getting higher because of these arrows. And 1, by the way, is included because the number 1 is part of these ordered pairs. So the way you would write range is you would put bracket 1, comma, infinity. From 1, including 1, and then it would just go on forever. Now remember, with increasing, decreasing, or constant, we did not put the bracket. With domain and range, if a bracket is needed, you're going to go ahead and put it. So there's a, there's a difference. Increasing, decreasing, and constant are never going to take a bracket. Domain and range, if it's needed, which in a lot of cases it is, in most cases it is, you're going to be including the bracket in the answer. Now obviously here, infinity and negative infinity never get brackets. Okay? So... We are done with that example.